estudiantes. Sí, señorita. Uh, four. four. What in four mess with you? Um, with the delta y or the delta x? Yeah. So I don't know what it was Oh, you mean I wrote delta y, delta x yeah. on there? I'll, I'll wait until you see it in a minute. Um, and a couple of you need the reminder, and this might just be that whole summer, like I gotta get my brain back into it thing. Ordered pairs are ordered x, y. A couple of you are looking at them backwards. So when I look at delta y over delta x to try to find our slope, which by the way we often call m. My change in y from 5 to 2 was actually down by 3. My change in x was actually up, but by 2 fourths. Well, that's really a half. And when we're dividing by a fraction, we really, what's those three little words? Well, yeah, that or keep change flip, depending on who you had. Um, so we keep change flip, or if you just know the technical, we multiply by the reciprocal. So negative 3 times 2 over 1. You get negative 6. I forget what you did, but you see your mistake now. By the way, if you guys need um, graph paper, line paper, pencils, pens, highlighters, uh, I got all that stuff. If it's not on that middle table there, ask me and I'll get it for you. Uh, colored pencils are up there at the front under the chalkboard. Rulers, protractors, compasses, all that stuff should be right there in the middle table there. What else, Jenny? Um, 21. Ooh, anything else on the front page? Well, let's go front page. Yeah, Ava? Uh, eight. Wait, wait. I will not. Yeah, Just isolate your isolate your y. Yeah, work PEMDAS backwards, isolate the y. Anything else from the front? 8, 10, 11, 12. Um, number 7, uh, I have no idea what I did to get the answer. Hmm. Did you get the right answer? I don't know. So there's a few different things that we can do, and it, it all depends on who taught you graphing and functions and how this all works. But we have two main forms that we work with linear equations in. We have point slope and then slope intercept. This is point slope. It is easier if we look at it in slope intercept. So I'll explain the point slope here in a minute. Well, let's just play with this. Let's assume that like you started an assessment. And I like to play these situations out with my students. Let's say you don't know anything. It's not actually nothing, right? You obviously know some basics. But you're presented with this problem and you're like, crap, I don't know. It, want, it wants me to, what does it say, graph or write the, yeah. So. I want to graph this. Now, I, I don't know how to graph this at all. But what I do remember that I know how to graph is at one point, we said it enough that my math teacher was talking about a y equals mx plus b, right? If, if I'm imagining that I'm you, on a test, I don't know anything. So I'm used to graphing when I have a y equals. I have a y. It's not alone, but I have a y, and I have an x, and I have some numbers. So this is similar to what I've seen before. And what do I know how to do? Well, I know how to get rid of parentheses. How can I get rid of these parentheses? Distribute that multiplication. So the first thing I did was nothing to the left-hand side. But I did get negative 2x and a positive 6. Now, what else do I know how to do? Yeah, yeah. 
and we're going to do that through combining like terms, right? We know how to combine like terms. We're just grouping up terms that are like each other. So to do that, I'm going to get rid of this minus 2, so I add 2 on both sides. And we get y is equal to that negative 2x plus 8. Gravity works. And magically, I'm now in slope-intercept form. So if I go to graph this, and this is a great time to check out Desmos. I can graph this using graphing calculator or you know whatever utility. Um, drag this up onto the top screen. Desmos is amazing. So negative two x plus eight. Can anyone relate? This graph was what we originally started with. And my computer won't split screen since there's a screen on the right here that it can go to. But this graph right here. So that what we started in was called point slope. So this top form is point slope. What the heck does that mean? Nobody knows point slope. No one's told me. Point yeah, what it means. Like why? Huh? You have a point and a slope, right? <laughs> so what like what is it? What are the pieces here? Or really I might as well show you in the school of G2 so you guys get used to checking. Point. Yeah, so it's giving you a point and it's giving you the slope. And based off knowing the point and the slope, you can then start at the point and then work. Ooh, I zoomed in. Work using that slope. So what was it? this is chapter three. If you guys were to look in this chapter three folder, uh, slope-intercept form here, your y equals mx plus b, and point-slope form here. So this goes through, you've got any point, like the y and the x are your variables. Those are any point that's going to happen. These values are the point that you know. So let's say, crap. If you know the point, two, five. So you got to realize x value here, y value there, and they're counterintuitive. So even though it's a minus five and a minus two, they're not negative. That's just how it's set up in the formula. It's going to be y minus the y value of your point x minus the x value of your point. So if we come back to the situation that we had, uh, wherever Desmos went, we had an x of 3 and a y of 2, right? When I look at my graph, an x of 3 and a y of 2, this point right here is where that formula was telling you to start. 
And then this negative 2 tells you the slope that's happening to it. So when you're given an equation of point and slope form, all you do is have x value, y value, slope, and that's it. Then you can manipulate it to get it to slope intercept. Or from slope intercept, you can find a point and put it back into point slope. So there's actually infinitely many point slope formulas that I can use for this because there's infinitely many points that I could choose. So let's say that you were given negative 2x plus 8 and asked to put it into point slope, which I'm pretty sure is um, another part of this assessment. You can write this as point slope. Let's say you were starting with this, wanting to write it as point slope. Who's got a favorite number? Seven. Three. Seven. Okay, love it. If I plug in seven for my x, let's see what happens. Not negative seven. Uh, negative 6. So now to put this into point slope. I know my x and I know my y. y minus negative 6, so this is actually going to become plus, equals the slope of negative 2, which I was told to begin with, x minus the x value of 7. Here's another point slope form of that equation. So if you're asked to find point slope, just pick an x, plug it in, and find the y that goes with it. Write it out using the slope you've already been given. Preguntas. I think most of you already took Spanish one. Preguntas means questions, and it's just fun to say. Other questions? Well, okay, I'm going slow. Anything else on the front? Let's do that. Yeah. 13. So, <laughs> sorry, exactly what we were just saying. If you're given this, actually, this is even easier. If you're given the slope and given the point, the work has already been done for you, actually. You just have to formalize it. So it's good to get in the habit of writing the generic before you write the specific. So my generic point slope is y minus the known y points equals m times x minus the known x point. This y1, x1 just means that I, like, I've identified them. This is point 0.1, quote unquote. So when I plug this in, it becomes y minus the y value, not equals, y minus that y value, the slope, x minus that x value. Clean this up a little bit. And since it only wants point slope, I leave it just like that. Now, if it wanted me to take it to slope intercept, I could distribute the 1 fourth, subtract the 2 to isolate the y, and I would get it to slope intercept. Questions? On the back, 15 through 20. Nothing 15 through 20. These are all slope intercept forms, so I thought they'd be easier. For some reason, people struggle with point slope, so don't feel bad when you struggle with it. It's, it's just harder to figure out than slope intercept. All right, 21. I can already tell that meme is dying because people don't like snicker and stuff anymore. Uh, so my time is probably about to run out. I do have um, a question like this. 
post it on my YouTube page, so I don't know how far you have to dig. Uh, but for those of you 